Hello, my name is Anthony from theabletoncookbook.com and today I'm going to show you um, how to use follow actions to make uh, a variety of fills and variations on any break. And so this is something that uh, can be used for a couple of different applications um, and I'll show you two right now, okay? So um, as you can see from right here, I have um, just one clip in, in, the, in this audio rack. So I'll just go ahead and press play here. And that's the funky drummer clip, um, which you probably recognize. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to chop this up into pieces. Uh, I'm going to chop it up into eighth notes because it's about two. Uh, it's about two bars right now. So with it, I like to do this, and I'm just going to actually rename this so it says full clip. There we go. Um, with it, I like to do this, and I showed. I actually did the exact same method in the um, MLR tutorial that I uh, did a few months back, wow, um, is to copy this into arrangement. So I'm going to go ahead and press Command C and copy this clip, press Tab, go back to arrangement and press Control or Command V rather and just copy it into the timeline. And I find that it's easier to chop it up this way actually. So now I'm going to chop this into eighth notes. So I'll go ahead and just select uh, an eighth note, Command E, every other one like this. Do this somewhat evenly here. Okay, so now we have um, 16 different little little chunks here, and if you play it, actually, you should just see it. <laughs> so even though it's a uh, it's in these pieces, it still plays all the way through. So go ahead and select all of these, or you can also do Command A. I usually just select all this way. Um, Command C again. Go back to um, session view and then just drop them all here and now they're called something different. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to change the color of these to differentiate them from the entire clip from the little pieces. So once again I'm going to select all these by, you know, you select the top one, press shift and select the bottom one and it'll select all of them in between. Just go to here and change the color. So I'm going to change the color to, I don't know, purple. Okay, and I'm going to rename them fill. Okay, so now, but you'll notice if I just press play here, <laughs> so it'll start wherever the the chunk was cut before. So what you can do is you can once again select all of them, and you're going to want to use follow actions here so that they flow seamlessly one into the other. So go down to, if your launch mode isn't selected here, go ahead and press this L circle to bring up this launch pane. You can do follow actions. And remember that these go bar, the follow action numbers here go bar, uh, quarter note, sixteenth note. So since it's eighth notes, we're going to do two, it's actually two sixteenth notes. So zero, zero, two. And this means that after two sixteenth notes or one eighth note, it'll execute the follow action here, and we're going to want it to be next. So we'll go ahead and do this, play the top one. <laughs> so now you can see it's looping, I'm not touching anything, uh, it's looping through the entire break by itself. <laughs> also worth noticing is that these follow actions only apply, hold on, I'm going to shut this stuff. Reference. These follow actions only apply to clip to clips that are contiguous. So even though the follow action of this bottom one is next, it's going to go to the top of this group, right? So we'll go ahead and just watch. For See, it doesn't go actually to the top of the entire track. So that's really good to point out. So now what you can do is you can select all of these and instead of having them go next, what I like to do is just go down to this follow action and do any. And now it's going to play any random section of the clip within this group. So let's just go ahead and watch this. <laughs> so 
So that's pretty cool, and that's that's a really useful way. This is a really useful way to come up with variations of a break that maybe you wouldn't foresee. And so what I'll do now is I'll show you how to just record this into the arrange view. So go ahead and press um, press stop twice to bring the transport back to number one. Go ahead and activate this, and then press or just click this top one here. And just let it run for a few minutes. That's usually what I do. Say so let it run for eight bars, maybe. Something like that. And now if you go back to the the arrangement view right here, you'll notice. Oh, sorry. So you have all those variations already built, already recorded here, and then you can pick which parts you like, which parts you don't like. A lot of times I'll just, um, I'll select the parts that I like, and then I'll copy them over here and eliminate everything else. So that's one way just to think of variations of breaks using those follow actions. Another thing that I like to do is to use the the random as kind of a way to make fills. So I'm gonna tab back to this session view right here. And so what you can do, and I actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into key map mode, press command K. You can also just click it over here. And I'll say I'll make this full clip A. And then I'll make the, the beginning of the random section S. And you'll notice that up here I have the quantization at one uh, uh, one beat or a quarter note here. So that means that it won't wait until the next um, the next bar to start applying the changes. So what you can do is now you can use this random. So if you press A, for example, it's just going to loop the full clip. But as soon as you press S, it'll start playing random sections of the clip. So this is actually a really cool way to use, to make up fills on the fly. A lot of times you can do this while you're playing. It's really cool actually, and it's going to add some variation. You can also um, totally change if you really want to. Let's just try this. I haven't done this before. Let's just try this. You can actually change the length of the follow action. So let's just make it shorter even, and let's see what happens here. So now instead of changing every eighth note, it's going to change every sixteenth note. So. And there we go, and so forth and so forth. If you really want to change that, you can just uh, edit the, the length of the follow action right here. So that's a quick tip um, to add some different fills and some variations in your breaks um, using follow actions. So uh, anyway, I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me a comment on the blog or hit me up on the Twitter, okay? Uh, once again, this is Anthony for the AbletonCookbook.com, and I hope to talk to you later. Bye.